Hello and welcome to the Autistic Tidbits and Tangents podcast. This is our first episode. My name is Maya Todale. I'm an autistic psychologist. And this is Kara Diamond, my co-host, and she's an autistic teacher. We are so excited to have you follow us on all of our tangents as we talk about topics related to autism, things that interest us in general about neurodiversity, and many other things. And that kind of bridge from child to teenager is when the other girls start being like, no, if you're cool, you have to do this. You Mm -hmm. have to talk about these topics. You have to, Mm -hmm. like, you have to keep up with that social convention that they are creating. I hated that so much. (laughs) Exactly. And and I think for autistic girls um, or autistic boys who who are friends with with neurotypical girls, um, I think that period of time where now we can't play anymore we used to play we used to be kids together um that goes away and and i can't join you in those things because i don't have those interests yet and when kids are going on social media when they are eight nine ten years old then that shift starts happening a lot earlier than it used to that makes sense i also think the the tendency to communicate directly which is a, a, a common with all children and younger mm-hmm. childhood where you can just say are mm-hmm. you my friend or yeah. uh, do you want to play or i really like you you can get away with that when you're young and then again the expectations change uh, neurotypicals engage in much more subterfuge in their c- communication if we can call it that but we you, can you hide. We definitely can you hide your thoughts, you hide your feelings, yeah. and that can be really hard to keep up with when you're someone mm-hmm. who really believes in living authentically and saying mm-hmm. what you think and feel, and you expect the same of others. Yeah, 